Hello, hello, hello! It's Pam Duffy again with video number three in our deep diving into E-Rank. This is the new name for Etsy Rank, my number one tool, website, whatever you want to call it, for helping to grow your Etsy shop. And if you haven't checked out the previous videos, we've had a deep dive into the keyword tool page of Etsy Rank, E-Rank, and the compare keywords. And now I want to show for you the most exciting, the brand new feature, the Keyword Explorer. It's just here under Tools. There also is also a shortcut to it. But under Tools, Keyword Explorer, and it's got its funky new, new badge. So just going to click on that, and that takes us to a different page, which has, again, the previous searches of things you've looked for before. Or when you click on the Enter keyword, you can type in and search for things and we can also um, see previous searches. So let's have a look for dog sculpture. And again, this will just be in real time. I'm gonna click search and let it search. And this brings it back slightly quicker because it's doing something slightly different. It's bringing in sort of less data, but in a different way. It's fantastic. You're going to love this, guys. Uh, big props to Anthony. I think he's done a great job here. So we have three bars over the top, which is searches. Again, if you hover over the question mark, if you're not sure of anything, it should explain itself if you hover over a question mark or click on links. So this is Etsy searches. This is an estimated average search volume over the 12 past 12 months and this is fantastic this is data of Etsy buyer Etsy buyers yeah it's not the full data this is um, from a third party data that's been gathered and it is just from American buyers but which should be enough to give us trends and ideas so Etsy doesn't give out the full data that we need, but this is enough to really help us to tell us that, yes, there is actual searches on Etsy. People have really searched for this, as opposed to the data we used to have to use in the past, which was an average from Bing. So competition, as before, this is the estimated number of Etsy listings that can be found when searching for the keyword. And engagement, a relative measure of how much Etsy buyers engage with the results. E-Rank uses views and favourites data from Etsy to determine the engagement. The higher the engagement, the more likely the products are to be viewed, favourited and purchased. So competition and engagement is pretty much similar to what we had in the keyword tool, but searches is Etsy specific data. This is so exciting. And so again, as we come down, we have some graphs, Etsy and Google search trends. So estimated searches performed by shoppers on Etsy over the last 15 months and Google searches search history for the past 12 months. So this is showing us data of what real shoppers what real people have searched for again it's an estimate of the Etsy because it's in a cross section of American shoppers but it still gives us an idea like we've never had before so for the term dog sculpture we can have a look through there there has been some search volume on Etsy um, picking up actually picking up at the beginning beginning of 2018 but there's been nothing since so this isn't steady search volume but there still is search history and it's averaging at about 136 searches a month so dog sculpture is a term that people look for it's not a massive term and the same on google it's showing us that there is some search history there's some search volume there and here again we have this long tail graph um least search to higher conversion. So we've got head, middle and long tail. If we hover here again, the blue dot on the long tail graph helps you to visualize where the keywords sit on the search demand curve. Long tail keywords are found in the green section. So as we can see, dog sculpture is considered higher conversion. It's considered a long tail term. So this, this is a pretty, pretty good one in that it's it's not searched so much but it's also not got the massive amount of competition so 
again, as I've said before, this is just finding a balance for things that people search for that does exist. People search for it, they want to buy it, but that you can rank for as well. So this depends on your shop. Now we have the little box here where we can filter, filter the keywords for the related searches. And what is related searches? It's real search terms that Etsy shoppers use to find similar items. So for dog sculpture, what actual terms have shoppers been using? This is fantastic to give you ideas for different keywords that you could use. So and this is a whole bunch of this extra good for finding new keywords. So instead of dog sculpture, you could possibly use dog scat statue. And we've got a whole load of data here. Is it a long tail keyword? Yes, it is. Is there search volume from Etsy? And yes, there is. There's 300 to 400. What's the competition like? Only 9,000 people were up against and the engagement is pretty good as well. Instead of the colour coded, this is like a fuel bar. So it's showing the more the more filled up it is. So we can see how far the green line moves across. And Etsy trend, this is showing. You can click on it to see a better graph of it. But this is showing the actual shopper's data. So how much people are searching so you can get an idea if something if there's little lines all the way if there's bars all the way then it's shown it's searched for all the time but what we could also find is certain terms have a popularity at certain times during the year so for dog sculptures as we've seen it's mainly only at Christmas time and then other ones might be at different times. So you could see if there's a trend for this, if maybe it's something, if you're seeing a term, for example, Halloween, it's obviously going to be picking up steam before Halloween and the rest of the year, not so much. So you'd maybe want to try and aim for this keyword just before it begins to pick up steam if it's seasonal. So we've got the trends and then Google searches, how much this is the estimated est estimated number of searches performed on Google each month. So again, this tells you if you are using it for your website and it is handy to know how popular a certain term is on Google and the competition. These are again, exciting pieces of data for you. This is what the advertisers, if you wanted to buy an advert on Google for dog statues, what's the competition and what's the price of this? Now, advertisers pay money for things, for terms that are going to make them money. So the more popular something is to an advertiser, the more the more better, great English, great grammar, but the better this might be. So Google competition, this indicates the level of advertisers that are competing on Google for these keywords. It ranges from zero to one with zero being no competition and one being high. High competition is a good indicator of commercial intent. So a one means this is good. Advertisers like this. So if people who are selling a dog statue are really keen on advertising using the word dog statue. If we can get to rank for this for free on Etsy, then that's a good thing. Uh, Google CPC, this is cost per click, um, indicates how much advertisers are prepared to pay to appear in the top of search results for the keywords. If advertisers pay a high cost per click, that indicates the keywords have good commercial intent. So again, like this, how much competition and how much do people pay per click? At, Google is fantastic at knowing the value of things, basically. So if it's got a high cost per click, then this is a high value term. So this is another indicator that it might be a good thing here. So we're looking at competition and we can see all these have the highest competition, but it's ranging from one dollar per click all the way down to 55 cents per click. So that is double the value. Animal sculpture is double double the value of balloon dog, dog sculpture or metal dog sculpture. So it gives you an idea of what could be some real popular terms. And then we can analyze them further. If you click on this, it takes you to the results for 
your keyword tool for the actual term dog statue. But this is giving you an idea of other keywords that might be awesome that you might want to check into and look into deeper and it gives you an idea for interesting ones. Again, Afghan hound sculpture is reasonably popular. It has search history. It's not com it's not looking like it's big on Etsy, but people are searching for it. There's no data for competition. This might mean there's none or there's just none been found yet. Um, this is still a new tool, so it's still bringing in data, but it's not looking like massive competition. However, there is some search volume there. So if you were making dog sculptures, an Afghan hound might be a good idea to make. Um, Custom dog statues. Again, statues, this is a term that I've never thought to use. However, advertisers pay for it, so it's not bad. There's a search volume. It's seen on Etsy, so that's kind of cool. Again, hound dog. So it gives you some ideas of tags that might be good. I mean, and even some very long tail ones. Custom miniature needle felted dog sculptures. Now, there's... A little bit of potential Etsy, well, it's a naught to 50 on Etsy searches, but we're not seeing any sign of competition. There's there's no data for it, so this might not be the best term to go for just as one term. Again, all of these, but if we look custom dog sculpture, yeah, this has some competition, some engagement. There's some search volume and good Google competition and people pay for it. So it hopefully gives you just that extra idea. So this is a new exciting tool that can get you some more ideas for keywords based on the keyword that you just thought of. And you can use all of these tools in conjunction with each other. So you get an idea for a different keyword and then you analyze it with the keyword tool to see if it's a good keyword. Um, and here we have a little link to take you to the trademark database just to make sure that you're not using trademark tools because that'll get you in trouble. But here is the Keyword Explorer, fantastic new tool. The most important bit here in my mind is it's showing us estimates of actual Etsy searcher behavior, which is so important. So I hope that helped. Don't forget, come back every week for more videos on Etsy rank and how to grow your Etsy shop. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much.